This Tech Tip video is going to talk about adding descriptive messages to your simulation. A VeroCut session is going to give you feedback or information about what's going on in your simulation in a number of different ways. One way is by making visual changes to components when they collide, or we can put information in the logger window, such as information messages, errors, or warnings. This example, we're going to look at this NC program, and as I play it through, you'll notice there's a lot going on, clamps that get added and taken away, but no information gets collected in the logger window. So what we want to do is we want to add information, add some information messages into the logger window. So I'm going to hit reset here and show you kind of what's going on. So on this case, that command, command blank clamps here is what's doing some of the action. So we're going to add some information to this blank in my G-code processing window. So I hit add modify, and then I'm going to look for message. And there are two different macros that we can use. The first is this message macro. And you'll notice through the tip on the right-hand side of the window, there are error messages, warning messages. For this case, we want to use, I want to use the logger message. And the logger message simply puts messages into the logger window. It's nice, it's clean, but there is no connectivity back to the NC program. So in this case, I'm going to use this here the override text is what gives me the information that's going to be put into the logger window. So in this case, I'm simply going to, if I can type it correctly here, type in um, you know, something about a component that has been blanked. Now, when we see the blank that triggers from the program, we should see the logger message update. In this case, you see component has been blank show up twice because we do it twice in here. Now when I hit reset, what I want to do now is because there is no connectivity between information messages and the NC program, we want to put some sort of a trigger in here to make it stop. In this case, I'm simply going to go into my add modify addresses, type in stop, and I've got a couple of different stop options. In this case, I'm going to use stop optional, which works just like the M1 on a, on a FANUC control. I hit play, and you'll notice, okay, nothing, nothing stopped because I haven't triggered it. So I have to go into my play options and have it stop at optional stops. Now, once I have it stop at the optional stop, and I hit play, now you'll notice, okay, component has been blanked, and I get program hop halted at optional stop. And I can continue playing, and it'll stop at the next instance. It also stops every time I see an M1. So in this case, if I don't want to do that, because I've only want stop twice in this program where it stopped, where it sees the, the word blank. Now what I can do is I can hit reset, and let's delete that. And let's modify this message from logger message to message macro. And because I have different options for message macro, I'm going to use type 2, which is a warning message. So now when I hit reset and play, every time it sees word blank, it triggers it as a warning. This gives me a good warning to my user about what's going on inside the simulation. In this case, we want to have it stop at and warn the user that something has gone on. In this case, we've blanked a component. And that is how to add some descriptive messages, whether they be information messages or warning messages in this case. For more information about this Tech Tip video or other technical aspects of Vericut, please contact CG Tech at the numbers below.